Hi friends, this is Avinash Singh from India. Today is January 25th, 2024. I am in the Church of Redemption. We had a very, very blessed uh, church worship service. And uh, this video I am especially making uh, in, uh, in the month of February because uh, month of February known as a uh, month of love. We celebrate the Valentine days in this month. And this month is have a attraction where people express their feelings to others. And it is very important as we, as a Christian, uh, we understand what is love. The Bible says God is love. The Bible says uh, in uh, Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16 that God so loved the world that he gave his importance that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Bible says in book of Romans chapter 5 verse 8 it says that God demonstrate his love that we were when we are yet sin Christ died for us and God has commanded us in the Bible that you have to love your God with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul and love your neighbor as possible awesome. so there are many many uh, you know, variations of the love and the commandment and the God's expectation, God's manifestation of His love is mentioned in the Bible. One of the things which I want to bring, uh, because uh, February month known as a month of love, uh, what is the quality which Bible teaches us about the love? If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, you will find there are a few qualities which we learn about the love. What is the quality is, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4, it says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no regard of being wrong. And in the uh, sixth verse, it says, It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. So remember that, that love is not blind, as the world defines. Love never rejoices in the evil, but it will always rejoice in the truth. And in the seventh verse, it says, Love never give up, never lose faith, is always hopeful and endure through every circumstance. So this is the way the Bible defines the love and we as a Christian believer should understand that loving in a godly manner to God as well as to others bring to peace and comfort. The world is teaching about the love in a very different situation where uh, in the name of the love, they encourage you to compromise. In the name of the love, they encourage you to do the injustice to others. In the name of the love, they encourage you to do certain things which is not acceptable in the world. So my dear friends, as the people of God, as a believer of Lord Jesus Christ, we should stand on the truth. As Bible says that love never enjoys in the evil always enjoys so may god bless you abundantly love from india take care and god bless and be a blessing for someone who is in need of food shelter clothing uh, for prayer for counseling and for the full gospel amen